Welcome back to another mechanism tutorial. Today we've been covering quintupling your ores. This will not be a cheap process to go about doing. It's going to be one that requires a lot of investment and maybe some cross mod integration. I'll be covering efficient setups for these ore processes at the end of this series, but for now, let's jump on in. The first thing we need to work on is making sulfuric acid. This process will require a source of gunpowder, of which you can get by crushing flint. We'll need to put the gunpowder in the chemical injection chamber, which we covered previously along with hydrogen chloride in order to produce some sulfur. Now, if you have a mod that adds sulfur in the form of ores, this will work as well. And in my opinion, I would not even attempt to do this process until you've accessed those sulfur ores. So we'll go ahead and cover some more advanced ore processing techniques later on, but for now, let's go ahead and move on. We'll need to put our sulfur into a new machine called the Chemical Oxidizer. This will allow us to transmute items into a gaseous state, this being sulfur into sulfur dioxide. It's not super cheap, it's going to require four alloys, two basic circuits, a gas tank, a, a dynamic tank block, and a personal chest. And you can also upgrade this with speed and energy upgrades like any other mechanism machine. So go ahead and just input your sulfur from the uh, left side, and go ahead and turn it on. And it will convert into sulfur dioxide, it will be outputted from the right as a gas. And they're going to pump that into a chemical infuser, which you've remembered from the last video, that's going to let us combine different gases along with some oxygen. And that is going to create sulfur trioxide. And we're actually going to pop that trioxide into another infuser. And we have the first gas done, but there is one more gas we're going to need, and that would be dihydrogen monoxide vapor, commonly known as water. So first things first, we're going to need to obtain water somehow, that can be from an electric pump or any other method you'd like. We're going to pump it into a new machine called the Rotary Condensitrator, or however it's spelled, which will allow us to convert a liquid into a gas and vice versa. It'll take some glass, some basic circuits, a fluid tank, which if you're not familiar with the recipe, that's just going to be some redstone and some iron, it's just going to be an enter tablet and a basic gas tank. This machine can also be upgraded as well, right here. We'll need to set our machine to decondense in order to turn water into water vapor, which will then pump into the infuser to create sulfuric acid. So like any like the other machines, it's pretty restrictive on the input, so water comes from the right, and your gas will be outputted from the left. So if you wanted to convert a gas into a liquid, it would be gas here, liquid there. And you can see here, we're going to start creating some sulfuric acid with the sulfuric trioxide that we had left. That's going, it's going, and we're now ready to begin the quintupling ore process. The first machine we'll be using for this process is the chemical dissolution chamber. This machine will use the sulfuric acid we made to break down ores into dirty ore slurry. These machines are going to be pretty expensive. For example, the dissolution chamber is going to require some basic circuits, two gas tanks, some alloy, and an atomic alloy. And this machine, to be you know, is quite restrictive on your inputs. The left side will always be your gas input, with the top and bottom sides reserved to pump ores in. It's going to turn ores into a dirty slurry, which will be pumped out in the right in the form of a gas. Yes, a slurry is a gas. That will go into a chemical washer, which using water will clean your slurry into a clean slurry gas. This washer is the cheapest of the tier 5 processing machines, only requiring some circuits, two enriched alloys, a bucket, a steel casing, and a gas tank. This is similarly restrictive with your inputs requiring your dirty slurry to come from the left and your clean slurry coming out the right, with water being pumped in from the top. You'll go ahead and pump your clean slurry into a chemical crystallizer, which will process the slurry into five crystals, which we can then insert into our quadruple ore process setup. This is the most expensive ore processing machine. It's going to require two atomic alloys, some circuits, a, ga a steel casing, and two gas tanks. Processing one ore this way will yield 1,000 millibuckets of slurry, which the washer will use. The, I'm sorry, the washer, not the the crystallizer, not the washer. The crystallizer will use 200 milliliters to make one crystal. This is a pretty difficult process to go through. I really don't recommend it unless you have a need for lots of metal. And unless you don't, unless you have mods that allow you to kind of circumvent some of the resource requirements, it's really not worth the trouble. But in the future, we are going to evaluate some efficient setups for ore processing in the future that may involve some different mods. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching my latest tutorial. Be sure to check out my other videos as well. I make some fun reviews and skits on here in addition to gameplay. And be sure to leave a like in the, if you enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments what you liked and maybe didn't like. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on when I post new videos. I'll see you all in the next video and have a great day.